Several major headlines tonight, but we begin with the latest on the Key Bridge collapse in Baltimore. In the last couple of hours, we've learned dive teams have now recovered two bodies of men from water in the middle part of that bridge. They're believed to be among the six construction workers who plunged into the water when a cargo ship crashed into it Tuesday morning. Our Mariel Carbone joining us live tonight in Baltimore. And Mariel, certainly a very difficult night for the families of those men. Yeah, Chris, really heartbreaking out here. We know those two men, as you mentioned, were on the bridge doing construction work at the time it collapsed. Uh, their bodies were covered earlier today. And meanwhile, four others are still missing as officials tell us this is no longer a recovery effort, but a salvage operation. In the minutes and now days since the key bridge collapsed in Baltimore, crews have been working around the clock, searching for six missing men working on the bridge when it plunged into the river. Less than an hour after the collapse, we had divers in the water at 2.25 a.m. This morning, we had divers in the water starting at 6 a.m. Today, police were covering the bodies of two of them, Alejandro Hernandez Fuentes and Dorleon Raniel Castillo Cabrera. Divers located a red pickup truck submerged in approximately 25 feet of water. Divers recovered two victims of this tragedy trapped within the vehicle. Now, the mission changing phases again. It's no longer a recovery effort, but a salvage operation. Because of the superstructure surrounding the vehicle, what we believe are the vehicles, and the amount of concrete and debris, divers are no longer able, able to safely navigate or operate around that. Meanwhile, the collapse of the Key Bridge is not just a Maryland crisis. The collapse of the Key Bridge is a global crisis. Governor Wes Moore says and federal, state, and local partners are racing to reopen the Baltimore port, which handles more cars and farm equipment than any other part of the country. Maryland already applying for federal dollars to rebuild. The task in front of us, it will be real. It will be daunting. And Governor Moore confirming that that ship that hit the bridge, it did lose power, uh, which caused it to lose its capability to steer. And after that mayday call was made, he says that first responders were able to stop traffic from crossing the bridge and to alert those construction workers to try and get off the bridge, no doubt saving some lives early that morning. Reporting from Baltimore, I'm Marielle Carbone, DC News Now. Yes.